Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video from. Um, my name is Ajibike Ojomo and some people call me GBK, some call me BK. Whichever one you decide to call me, I'm cool with it, I'm okay with it. So how are you all doing? I hope everyone is great and I hope everyone is okay. As you can see in the heading, the title of today's video is How to Help Our Teenagers Save Money. What can we do? How can we help them? How can we advise them to save money? You know, teenagers are everything. Today, they're cool. Tomorrow, they're everywhere. They are just like yo-yo, you know, sometimes they're fine, they're great to talk to. And sometimes they're just so grumpy, they just don't even want to listen or even hear us say anything. So how do we approach them or how do we talk to them on their finances? Because I think the earlier we start teaching them what to do, the earlier we start advising them what to do, the earlier they start learning what to do, the better they get later in life. We have to figure out a way to bring ourselves down to their level for them to be able to listen and understand us when we talk to them. So we have to find a common ground with them so that they can be able to hear us and learn from us on finances and how to handle it. So before I go ahead, if you're new to this channel, um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can get updates on what I'm up to or when I have new uploads. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming here. If you like any of my video, I will, be, I will appreciate if you can share it so every, every other person can also learn from it too. Teenagers are everything. They're these beautiful people with diverse ways. I mean, I've been a teenager before, so I know what it is to be a teenager. And you've been a teenager before, so you know what it is to be a teenager. And I'm talking to parents now. And um, we know exactly that mood that they go through whenever, you know, something goes wrong. It's like they are in their own world. And in order to get to them, you have to figure your way out into their world to understand them, to get to them, to communicate with them. So please, we have to figure out how to do this. We have to help them help themselves if that makes sense you know teenagers love everything when they see this or when they see their friend buy this they want to buy it too they want everything from traveling you know they want to go to Greece want to go to London want to go to Paris to the tiny itty bitty thing like um, buying apps for the phone like you know Spotify like some little little tiny bit thing that they spend money for for every month they don't know this kind of accumulate into something at the end of the day uh, my teenager is, is working she works for um you know one of those uh, merchant store and she is making a little bit of money and she's been saving has it been going great? Mm, no. Am I helping? Yes. So I'm going to give you some tips on what I've been doing so far with my teenager and what has worked and what is not working. And I hope you maybe I hope you're able to grab one thing or the other to help your teenager in their finance. So number one, even though this may be old, it works. The piggy bank. The piggy bank works my younger teenager my younger daughter has a piggy bank she's still saving into it up till today yes um, that piggy bank is in such a way where she can't open it until she's ready to use that money and I like it that way and she's been putting money in there and I'm very sure she's going to be very surprised by the time she get to it and by the time she's ready to use it. So I'm so proud of her because she's doing really, really great. On the flip side, the older one. Um, the older one is going to college this 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 fall. And she's the one that I have been trying as much as possible because she's working, like I said earlier. So I've been trying as much as possible to, to just pull a little 
wire back to help her with our finances. So like I said, number one is piggy bank. Number two, you know, teenagers are impulse buyers. They do things on impulse. They make decisions on impulse. And sometimes they really don't care the repercussion of their impulse decisions. So we have to teach them and we have to keep reminding them that they need to take one or two steps back. Think properly before making a decision. Um, if they go out right now and they only have $50 in their bank, if this is something they like, they wouldn't mind spending the whole $50 on that thing and be left with zero that's just who they are so the more we can advise them on trying as much as possible to take a second or two to think before making a decision i hope they listen but i will help them a lot so that's my number two my my third advice is to make a sticker um if i turn my camera around i have a i have a board um right there on the wall and I st stick stickers on it on what I want to do what do I want to achieve what do I want to buy what do I want to save to buy how much do I want to save to buy if they can do this to write a list of what they want write a list of how much it's going to cost them then put the sticker on a table or some on their bed or somewhere where they can see it every day. That could be stand as a reminder to them that, hey, you know, you still have this thing that is very, very important for you that you want to buy. So the third advice that I can give them is to find coupons and deals. I'm telling you, coupons and deals helps a lot. You know, I do tell my daughters on finding coupons if they want to go shopping, even, even if they are online, they should find a way to see if they have deals going on. They should wait till the days that there are deals before they go ahead to buy something. And you know what my daughters do when she goes out shopping? She normally go to, go to, the, to the stores that she knows I do go to. And when she get there, she gives them, when she wants to check out, she gives them the, my number. Uh, she typed in my phone number to see if I have any kind of deals or if I accumulated enough points for her to to get something, you know, from her purchase. And it has really worked. I actually did not know because most times I just go to this store, swipe my card, get, put my numbers, accumulate my points, and I totally forget to use them. So one day she got home from one of the stores that she went to and she said, she said, Mom, you know what? I said, what? You really saved me to a lot of money today. And I'm looking at her that I didn't give you any money. How did I save you money? You know, how did I save you money? And she said, um, she went to this particular store. And when she get there, they asked her if she's a member. And she said, no. But she said, her, she think her mom could be a member. Then she typed in my number and it saved, saved her almost 75% of what she bought that day. So I know that was a big lesson for her. So I'm glad that at least she was able to use that that day to save herself some money. So I'm, I'm very sure she learned something that day. Another thing that I really want to advise these teenagers on is, you know, they hang out a lot. And when they hang out, they go to these restaurants, they go to these uh, places where they buy food, they buy stuff, drinks, and whatever. And when I mean drinks, I'm not mean, I don't mean alcohol. But you know, they hang out and they definitely buy something, lunch, dinner, whatever they do. Um, if they can split the bill, don't say because you know I'm the only teenager. I'm the only one walking out of my friends. So I felt, you know, I just feel that I need to pay the bills because the rest of them are not working. I'm just the only one working no you don't have to do that if you know you're going to go somewhere and you're going to buy something let them know that each person is going to contribute something another thing you can do is to buy a plate and just split the the the, the food into two 
join your money together to get a plate or buy a small portion and split into two so you can share it. So those, that's another way of saving money. Another advice that I have is for teenagers to document the spending. Like if they really want to know how much they're spending in a particular month, they need to start documenting. In other words, they can have a spreadsheet like the Excel worksheet or they can even have a piece of paper where they write down everything they spend every day. At the end of the month, they can just add it all or maybe at the end of every day, they can add, add it all to know how much they spend that day. By the time they reach the end of the month, they can go ahead and add the whole amount together. That will give them an idea of how much they're really spending. So if they think it's a lot, then they will want to step back a little and readjust how what they spend money on. Maybe, you know, if they are the one, if they're working and they want to have lunch, they can prepare something to take with them for lunch or dinner or I don't know, whichever shift they're working so they can prepare just something little to take with them as a um, as lunch or dinner for them to eat that day so that will save them buying a ten dollar meal or a fifteen dollar meal that particular day i mean just imagine buying ten dollar meal a day for five days if you work five days a week that's already fifty dollars and how much are you making what if you're making ten dollars an hour just just calculate that and see how much it's already been taken out of your out of your money so think about that too try in a month to know how much your, sp your monthly spending is that would determine how much you're spending from the money you're making in a month so that is another tip that I can um, I can advise you to do and another tip is you know, there are apps that could help with the finance. I, I use Mint. I have used Mint for a very long time and it has really helped me. You can go ahead, download Mint and start putting your stuff in there, documenting your your spending in there. So that would give you idea of maybe this month. What, what did I spend a lot of money on? Is it on food? Is it on my clothing? Is it on my shoes? Is it on transportation? Is it on hanging out with friends? Or did I just buy something ridiculous that I wasn't supposed to buy? So that is another thing. Um, all this, there's a lot of finance, financial apps out there that could help you in documenting your spending. So if you can look for it, I know, I know um, Mint is one that I have used. And I think there are other ones, but that's the one that I really have used and I know that has worked for me. And the last um, advice that I have, or last tip that I have is to open a bank account. My daughter, so I opened a current and savings account for her. So what she does is when she goes to work, uh, her work transfer money into a bank, make a direct deposit, her wage or her salary or her, or her income into a bank directly. So the checking account has a debit card that she uses in paying her bills and the savings account is just for her to move some of her money when it comes into a check-in into the saving or there's another way they can do it at work you can split your money like an example let's assume I make a thousand dollars every paycheck that's an that's an example and I decided I want to save six hundred dollars in every paycheck and I just want to be able to spend $400 in every paycheck. So with my employer, I can have them direct deposit $600 into my savings and $400 into my check-in. This work really good. I did that for my daughter. Did it work? To an extent, it didn't, it didn't really work. But I still have access, because she's a minor, I still have access to her account till she's 25. You know what I did for her? Um, I noticed when I started, I go to, I try to check her account once in a while just to see her spending. So I noticed that every paycheck, she's able to move some money into her savings. But you know what? Before the end of the pay period, she moves it back into a check-in and she spends it all. 
So when I started seeing this pattern in her, I called her and I sit her down and I told her if she really want me to help her in saving. And she said, yes. So I said, here is what I'm going to do with you. And what I did was that every paycheck, every pay period, I, since I have access to her account online, what I do is when I know the day she gets paid, I go in there, move a particular amount that we both agreed on. I pull it out. I don't, I don't put it in a savings. I pull it into another savings that I have for her. So I've been doing that since we both sat down and agreed that I would be helping her in saving that money because I know she's going to college and I know she's going to need a lot of money to, to help her to navigate, to start a new life there. So she needs that money. You know, I'm a single parent too, and I can't really afford a lot to give to her when she's going. So as much as she can save to help herself or to help me help her, that would work great for me and it will work great for her. And I'm telling you that I have been able to save a lot of money for her using this process that I decide to agree with her on. I moved that money before she even starts putting her hand into it. And it has really worked. So those are the eight advice that I have. I can go back right away. The first one is a piggy bank. The second one is to um, advise the teenagers to stop making impulsive decision when it comes to buying anything. And the third one is to make a sticker and stick it on somewhere around where they can always see it to know what they are planning to buy and how much they want to save towards buying that particular thing. And I think the fourth one is to find coupons and deals whenever they want to go shopping, either online or they want to go in person to shop. So they should try and see if they can find coupons that they can take with them or download coupons online that they can take with them to help them to save when they get there. Then the fifth one is to split the bill within themselves when they go out to have fun and they want to pay for the bills or <laughs> for lunch or for anything that they're paying or buying. They should try as much as possible to split the bills within themselves or if they can, have, if they can just buy a plate and split it between the sel themselves to eat it. That will save them so much money. I, th I think that is number five so number six is to try to take a particular month to document the spending for that one month that would to give them idea of how much they're spending or what it is that they're spending much money on so they can try and find, figure out how to compromise on that particular thing that they're spending that much money on to see how they can help themselves save money and number seven is to find an apps that could help in their finances so that apps will just help them um to track their spending it's just the same way like instead of writing it down they can just find an app that will do it for them so it's almost like the number number seven number six it's just the same way it's just number six you're putting it down yourself on a spreadsheet but number seven you're finding an app that will do it for you some apps kind of link link directly to your bank account so as you're spending this money it goes into the into the app then when you go into the app you're just going to be the one to separate those amounts into maybe expenses shoes clothes you can create categories for the spending where you push things into. So at the end of every month, you are able to see exactly where you're spending that money. And the last but not the least is opening an account with a bank, current and savings account. So you can, if it's just savings, but I know there's restriction on savings. I think you can only withdraw to an extent i really can't remember but check with your financial institution check with your bank and they will tell you the kind of um, option they have on savings but you can open both checking and saving together and um, work on it most of these accounts are free it has no charges till you get to a certain age before they start 
charging you so most of them are free charges so just check with your financial institution check with the bank next to you and they will help you to figure out the best option of checking or savings account to open for you there's nothing like you having money somewhere and um, you want to buy something and you know with an assurance that you have money set aside that could help you to buy that thing that you want to buy if you have any question for me today please leave a comment down below if you had if you have more advice also leave a comment down below so that is kind of the end of it today um, if you if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you are able to learn something from this video don't forget to share and um, also don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions for me to answer uh, well it's nice chatting with you I'm glad that I'm here again and I'm glad that I'm able to give this few tips on the teenagers and how we can help them save and how we can help them with their finances for tomorrow once again my name is IGBK or Jomo. if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get notification on on when I have new uploads and if you have any question my social media is BK or Jomo. you can follow me on my social media uh, to see what I'm up to and until the next time, stay blessed, have a great one, and have a wonderful weekend. Love you all. Bye-bye.